Hello, I'm Dr. Munir Jan, Assistant Professor Anesthesiology and Intensive Care, King Khalid University, College of Medicine, Department of Surgery. Today, I'm going to talk about this combi tube. First, let me start with the description of this combi tube. Now, if you see this combi tube, there are two, two lumens that are longitudinally fused to each other one lumen ends just below this proximal cuff and the other lumen ends just below this distal cuff so there are two cuffs one is the proximal and other is the distal cuff the amount of air that can be inserted here is around 100 ml and then in this distal cuff approximately 15 ml of air can be inflated in this now as you can see in between distal and this proximal cuff there are these eight ventilatory ports these are ventilating ports one two three four five six seven eight okay so as you can see there is a, this black marking two black markings these are known as the depth markers you have to keep these depth markers at the incisor levels so there is a color coding also one is blue and other is white so blue just ends below this proximal cuff and the white up to just distal to this distal cuff now in 95 percent of cases this distal cuff or the distal lumen is in the esophagus when we insert it correct so now the where we can use it it can be used in emergency situations or if a person is not expert in advanced airway or there is a difficult airway situation so you can use this combi tube right now how we inserted the technique of inserting this combi tube is if it is a patient for example i have to insert we have to insert it blindly we have to insert it blindly okay so blind insertion has to be there just focus it here now then if i insert it as i said 95 percent chances that it can go into the esophagus okay so 95 percent chances here you can see about the uh, epiglottis and vocal cords below is the esophagus so 95 percent if you put it blindly 95 percent chances that it can go into the esophagus then the depth marker as i said the depth marker has to be at the incisor levels clear now after insertion then we have to inflate both the cuffs First is the proximal cuff as I said with 100 ml of air it will make a seal between the root of the tongue and the soft palate clear the soft palate and the root of tongue it will make a seal so that there won't be any air leak second the distal cuff will make a seal either in the esophagus or in the trachea clear now when we have to ventilate first which port has to be ventilated first first you have to connect after inflation you have to connect to the blue one inflate see the visible chest rise bilateral air entry visible chest rise if there is a visible chest rise that means this distal is in the esophagus and the proximal is making a good seal Okay. Now, if there is no visible chest rise, that means this distal cuff has gone into the trachea, then you connect here and see the bilateral ear entry and visible chest rise. Now, the condition, for example, if there is no bilateral ear entry either with this port and this port, there is no chest rise, then what to do? You have to pull it a little bit up. Okay, after deflation, pull it up five, two, 1 to 2 cm above, then inflate again and recheck the th same thing what we were doing it early. For example, with one port and with the second port. This is how we put this combi tube 
so it's a very useful in case of emergency situations so i hope this video is you will get an idea about the CompuTube and you will like it thanks and please subscribe if you like this video thank you